Hello, my name is Tess from New York Restoration Project, and today we are going to be talking about something that's near and dear to my heart. Before I tell you the topic, I'm going to give you a clue. Can you tell what this skull is from? How about this footprint? These are both from a duck. And these are specifically mallard ducks, which you might have seen around. We can tell that this is a duck because of the shape of its beak. It's rounded and it has not teeth, but filters so that it can catch the water plants that it's meant to eat. On a duck, we usually refer to the beak as a bill. Then on the feet, we can tell it's a duck or a waterfowl because it has webbing between each toe, helping it to swim. These unique traits that ducks have set them apart from other birds. Let's look at another beak and foot pair. Here is another skull. Can you tell the difference between this skull and the skull of the duck? How about this foot? How is it different from the duck? Can you guess what bird this might come from? A hawk. This is a red-tailed hawk, which we have a lot of soaring above New York City. The beak is rounded and sharp right here. And it's for ripping meat. Its eyes are also in the front of its head, as you can see in the picture, because it is a predator. The feet have talons for grabbing prey and landing on large branches. It doesn't have web feet like the duck because it doesn't need to swim. I also have a large feather from a red-tailed hawk here. It's quite big because it soars up in the sky. This is the down, this is the large feather. Scientists who study birds use all of these clues not to only learn about individual birds, but to learn more about their role in the ecosystem. The more we learn about the natural world, the better we can take care of it, thus sustaining not only the lives of birds, but our own lives. Today we are going to be looking at some local birds found right here in New York City to find out what we can learn about them and their habitat through their distinguishing traits. In this lesson, there are three parts, the introduction page, which you're on now, the activity, and the review. Before going to the activity, scroll down to see the overview of the bird's anatomy and have fun. <laughs> 